over the years, there have been an influx of World War II based games, but World War I has never gotten any recognition because people are too concerned or they're, they're too interested in, woo, it has za a Nazis in it, so I need to kill Nazis. And that's the only way people would be interested in World War II. Um, that's the only reason, because of the Nazis and stuff. But, for some reason, people, they never took a history course, so they never, they don't know dick about World War I. All they know about World War I is trench warfare. That's all they know. And they think that's all World War I was about, trench warfare, which is ridiculous. So, anyway, this game came out a couple of days ago. Uh, I'm reviewing the PS4 version. This is basically a puzzle adventure game, which basically, off the bat, does not fit World War One. Give up. D do make a crappy puzzle game for another, for another something else, not World War One. Because when I heard there was going to be a World War One game, I was hyped. I was like, wow, they're finally making a World War One game, and then they come out with this crap. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. So this game, uh, I'm gonna overall, I mean, this game has bad gameplay. The art style is terrible. It's just awful, the art style. I just can't, I can't imagine. So, I think I can do a better job with the artwork than the people who made this game. Uh, the story is terrible. It's basically... You have like four different characters for different countries. It's awful. Awful, awful, awful. So, I mean, the game is just bad in every single way. I think it is one of the most terrible games of the entire year. It's worse than Mario Kart 7. That's how bad it is. So, I'm going to overall give this game a F-. minus. It's a terrible game. It deserves to fail. It it's broken as hell. And it's a disappointment. <laughs>